Okay, morning folks, welcome back to the channel. Right, so today, this is for beginners, how to hold a plectrum. So, common problems. Your strumming feels weird, it feels janky, the plectrum moves about in your hand, you keep dropping it, sometimes in your guitar, and you end up having to fish it out. So, what do we need to talk about? Well, my view is that the plectrum should become a natural extension of yourself. So, first things first, you might be confused, what sort of plectrum should I use? Well, to be honest, in my view, any. This is actually quite a thick one. It's 1.5 mil. You can get really thin ones, um, which to be honest, feel like pieces of paper. It doesn't really matter. My preference is for the thicker ones. Use the plectrum you've got. The best plectrum you've got is the one you already own. So here we go then. First things first, do not grip it too tightly. You need to hold it so there's some motion. Okay, not gripping, not a vice-like grip. This is what it would sound like if I grip it too tight. That's really aggressive sounding because it's digging into the strings. So hold it gently. You can actually see that it's moving as I go over each string. There's a little bit of movement in there, a bit like the suspension on a car, the springs on the car making the ride smooth. We need to be riding over the bumps by not holding it too tightly. So that's point one, hold it softly. You might think, oh, well that means the guitar is actually quite quiet. Trust me though, it isn't. That, holding it tightly, is too loud. A nice, soft, gentle, relaxed grip is what we actually need. Okay, so that's point one. Now, point two, you'll often see people holding it like this, right on the tip of their fingers, with masses of the plectrum poking out. So all this is gonna do as as you move over the strings it's going to exert a massive pull on it and as you can probably see you're going to end up dropping it not only because you haven't got much grip on it but because there's more of it there to act as a lever so this is what you should do sit with your hand naturally and imagine you're holding your hand like that with your index finger just bent gently behind your thumb and then the plectrum if we can see here will just tuck in like that so what I want you to look at closely is that. See how it sits behind the pad of my thumb and resting on this bit of my finger. Okay, and you'll notice actually that it's actually tucked in. There's not actually much of it showing. You see, Let me turn it that way. So imagine it to be like the tip of the iceberg, where well, the iceberg's here. Okay, and you just see the tip of it. So, point two then, tuck it away, like that, so there's not too much poking out. And added to point one, holding it softly, you'll find that that will solve an awful lot of problems. Now, as we then play guitar, what you might think is, okay, but Chris, without very much of the plectrum showing, as I strum, my thumb, and my fingers are touching the strings. Yeah, well, that's fine. There's no rules to say that that can't happen. So in fact, what we're doing here then is I'm brushing with my thumb and my forefinger as I play gently, as I glide across the strings, okay? And this brings us on to the next point people will often find is that a down strum, as we stroke down across the strings is fine, but then an up strum isn't. See how the up strum is catching? It sounds sharp. Well, that's because you have to get your angles right. So look, on the down strum, naturally, we're stroking over the strings and you can see that the angle there is such that the plectrum won't dig in. Okay, but the up strum is not a down strum backwards. An up strum, you have to angle the plectrum and bring it back up like that so it doesn't dig in. So we've got this sort of waving motion going on. So to practice this, here's what I want you to do. Put this down, okay? We hold our hand in the way we'll hold the plectrum and practice down strums 
with your index finger nail and up strums with your thumbnail. See? Down with the fingernail, up with the thumbnail. And in order to do that, what we're having to do is turn our hand. So let me just come like this so we can see. Put a chord on. So down strum, get to the bottom, quick turn in the wrist to bring it back up. So it's kind of like a circular, almost like a whipping motion. Good way to think about it is on the up strum, as you turn your hand, let it drop and drag your thumb back up. Because if you just do this and then come back up like this, my thumb isn't touching, my finger digging in. Right, so we put the plectrum in, soft grip, tuck it away, strum down, index finger touches, strum up, so I've dropped my hand, pull it back up. You see how we're sort of waving like that? So when you see people doing this from their wrist, from their elbow, sorry, see how the up strum is digging in? And I can already feel the plectrum coming out of my hand, okay? So, so far, real gentle grip, soft, not rigid, because if we're rigid, it'll dig in. And you might think that'll stop you dropping it, but actually the vibrations that happen from digging into the string so hard means that actually it will pull the plectrum out. The softer, the better. So the plectrum glides like the suspension of a car. Point two, don't have all of it waving about in the air like that, tuck it away. Tip of the iceberg. Tip three, put it down, hand ready. Down strums, brush your index finger nail. Pretend we're holding a plectrum, but we're not. It's like it's invisible. Down strum, index finger nail, up strum, thumbnail. And we've got this turn, and you get to the bottom, lead with the back of your wrist to pull it back up. And we're waving, look. Then pick the plectrum up. Down, up, down, up. So dragging it down, dragging it up. Dragging it down, dragging it up. So, things to practice then. Any chord will do. I'll choose G, but whatever. Practice down strums only. So think the three things. Soft grip, tuck it away, and drag the plectrum down so the angle is such that the plectrum doesn't dig in, and up such that the plectrum doesn't, doesn't dig in. And as a guide, on the down strum, touch with your finger, up strum, touch with your thumb. I mean, as a side note, you don't always have to do that, but I do find that when I'm strumming generally, I actually am generally brushing with my fingers and there's nothing wrong with that. Fingers and thumb, you can do that. So, put a chord on, just practice down strums only, gently feel the plectrum gliding over the strings. Feel it moving between the soft pads of your finger and your thumb. Don't grip it tightly. Literally, that increase in volume to make it sound harsh has just come with me from me gripping it more tightly. Gently, that's plenty loud enough. So that's just down strums. Now, then try up strums. So, plectrum tucked away, softly gripped, drop my hand, and we're going to drag it up. Okay, leading with my wrist, drag it up. Oops. So, can you see the angle that my plectrum's coming in? It's not like this. It's like this, so it glides over the strings. So up, up, leading with my wrist. And then what you can do, when that starts to feel comfortable, slowly try down, turn, up, turn, down, turn, up. Now you don't have to exaggerate the movement massively like this, although that might help at first. It's just a gentle turning of the plectrum. Down, up, down, up. Stroke it. Don't, don't hit it, that's what a lot of people do. Stroke it gently, don't hit it. Just go up and down, up and down. No fancy patterns, no fancy rhythms yet. But yeah, so that's basically where we're at. So, let's summarise. We want to make the plectrum a natural extension of our hand. It shouldn't feel alien to us, okay? so. Here's how we hold our hand. We don't have loads of it poking out like this. We tuck it away like that. We hold it really gently, so there's movement within our hands. 
and we stroke and we glide. And on the down strum, we have the angle such the plectrum doesn't dig in like that. And on the up strum, because we drop it, we have the angle such that the plectrum doesn't dig in like that. Not like this, like this. So we're waving, we're leading with our index fingernail on the down strum and our thumbnail on the up strum. They're just a guide for you. You can feel that if your index finger is touching on the down strum and your thumb is brushing on the up strum, you must have got it right. And you can practice that by taking the plectrum out, pretending it's there, index finger, thumbnail, index nail, thumbnail, index thumbnail, and you have to have, in order to do that, this waving and turning motion. So guys, that's it really for that. So the next video will probably be taking that and putting it in more detailed strumming patterns of perhaps eighth notes and 16th notes. But first of all, just learn how to actually do that, get to feel comfortable with it, get to feel relaxed with it. And please, any questions or comments, do drop them below. And it would be brilliant if you could subscribe if you'd like the video, check out the one that um, I've done previously about how to make a bar chord as well, um, because you'll find that very useful, but much more content like this is gonna follow. Um, but for now, cheers guys. Thanks for watching.